he doesn't line up and get multi-fragged here. Gets the first kill on his teammate, trades, and gets a nice double kill spray there. We're gonna look at his path in a second, just to look at how good it was. So this round is super sick by Melbs from start to finish. There's a couple of understandings we need to have before we watch this. We know that Melbs is the only rifle in G2, therefore he is the way to win the round. He understands this, and he knows that if he has a save rifle, he needs to make an early play to get his team an advantage to hopefully win the round. Because the whole point is to win the round, right? So he knows that it's better if he goes for a fight, gets a rifle for his teammates, and gets a 4v5, than if one of the pistols go for a fight, because they're super unfavorable, and they'll just dwindle down the numbers early, and it should be round over. So. The rifle's gonna take this early engagement. Melbs is super sick default understanding, and he knows he has a gimmick in mid. He uses the edging of the smoke. We spoke about this in a previous video. I'll link it here if you haven't seen it. But pretty much use the smoke with the molly to stand in the molly without taking damage. It's super insane, and just a really nice lineup by Melbs. Super sick default understanding, and nice gimmick on Yabby. So Yabby gets fought there, doesn't really have a chance. It looks weird for Yabby that Melbs is there, we'll watch the POV after, because he knows there's a molly deep mid, and he doesn't hear the extinguish properly, and it just looks like Melbs shouldn't be there, which I think he shouldn't, but that just bug is still in play, or gimmick, or whatever it is. So it's super nice by Melbs. Melbs also has super nice understanding here, he takes a right eye fights. When his team's going in for this round, and he doesn't go in first, so it's super difficult for pistols to trade out the rifler here. So Melbs understands this. He lets one of the pistols entry first and uses his rifle to trade nicely. Really nice, lets the U2 go in and then pistol swings out. Knows where he is, gets a nice trade. And this third kill is just sick by Melbs. Really nice on the stun. And his hero rifle and his three kills in the round purely win his team the round and just really nice understanding of what the round needs from start to finish, how he needs to win the round, how he needs to make the opening play, and really nice default understanding and understanding of the gimmicks that he can pull to get that 4v5 early for his team when they need it. So we're going to Yabby's POV, and we'll just see exactly what it looked like in mid and just how favorable that fight was for Melbs. As we see here, yeah, the Molly's down early. Yabby's having a happy day, swinging mid, sees the deep Molly, doesn't hear an extinguish, and Melbs is there. Super favorable fight for Melbs, and just really nice deep for understanding to get that 4v5 for his team. So here we have G2 in a 3v5 best phase, and we're gonna see how Melbs uses his MP9 and his positioning to enable him to get nice kills here and to sort of even out the playing field when he's versing better weaponry, so AKs, as well as how he uses utility and how every piece of util he uses has meaning. And we're gonna see it here. So the first play that happens, Phase throw lurks make out door, a typical way to plant the bomb safely and then play a post plant. With the new meta with the HEs, Melb nabs the smoke, kills the planter, that's a nice way to get back into the round. And now Melbs and Monacy know that Phase have to push out here and they have to get numbers out the door or outside site to reclaim the bomb and to plant. So Monacy pushes up, Melbs gets close on the ramp here to limit the range that he has to fight with the MP9. And he plays really nicely here to trade out the double kill. Monacy, really nice control of the MP9. Now what he does here is really good. He knows the bomb's down on site, knows that FaZe had a heavy advantage in numbers, and he kills three on site there. So most likely someone is lurking. So Melbs is playing on the fact that FaZe had a lurk this round, and he's trying to see if he can get a 1v2 before he goes back for the bomb. Sadly, FaZe didn't have a lurk, or that they did, but they didn't come down um, ramp here. So now he's uh, able to play the post plant with his teammate. Notice how he still has a flash here, and we're gonna see exactly how he uses it to get back into the round further. Flashes Hunter out door, super nice team play. Brokey has no chance there. And with the guy dying on new box, he's able to clear out ramp here. Ross pushes on him, Hunter was gonna trade if he died there. And just a super nice round overall by G2 and Melbs in general. Really nice use of utility. Every single piece of util he threw had a meaning and a purpose, which isn't very common for a lot of players. They just dump utility, especially when they're man down. And his ability to limit the range that he has to take those aim jewels and close in the space in between him and his enemies was really nice and really strong. And it was just a really sick round from start to finish by Melbs. So this round by Melbs and G2 is just insane from start to finish. It's a 14-15 B rush draw, which is the best way to end any any map. Um, Melbs shows really good, really good poise and just understanding and just composure overall from start to finish. 
Here we see an early bee smoke, which signifies CTs could be going aggressive. There's a lot of utils around the ramp early, HEs and mollies, which show that they could be sending it. Melbs' position and path in here is really nice. He has a lot of opportunities to get blocked and also just to sort of stand in the way of his teammates. But he knows as the second player, he soon becomes the entry after Hunter dies. As the second player or the first player, he needs to make space and enable for his teammates to trade him. And so he doesn't line up and get multi-fragged here. Gets the first kill on his teammate, trades and gets a nice double kill spray there. We're going to look at his path in, in a second just to look at how good it was. Um, he calls for a flash deep. He gets blinded, but he knows his teammate's flash is coming in. He knows that if there's a CT there with a rifle or even an AWP, they have to hit him while he's strafing, and it's really hard. So he hits a hard D strafe and just gets nice position and wins his team the round. It was just really nice position and composure from start to finish. We're going to look at his path in on ramp and just see how good it is. If he blocks his teammates here and lines up and gets multied, the round's over and they're going to double OT. What's really nice here is Hunter dies. Melbs instantly strafes to the right there on the left of the room, but his position's right. So he splits the crosshair of the other team of Sna Bit, and Bit now has to choose between shooting at him or Snacks. He gets the kill, and then JL gets swung here, gets right eye peeked and killed, and the guy at sight just gets destroyed. It's not even close. But his swing there and pathing and space making is really nice. And then here, it's just like sick that he trusts his teammates flash, knows it's coming in. Even though he's blind, he knows the other team will be blind, judging off his teammates flash. Hits a hard D strafe and just kills the AWPer. And it's round over and he wins the map for his team. Just really nice composure and pardon by Melbs. And I thought we could end this video with a nice fun clip. Watch it one more time. I hope this video was helpful guys and I hope you enjoyed.